welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and i really appreciate your time so i'm going to be very briefly talking about why it is i feel that so many times on social media when you see men expressing their preferences and talking about on the things that they are and aren't attracted to in women um specifically regarding our hair lashes the use of makeup or the overuse of makeup you will see women in the comment section expressing that they don't actually care about you know men's opinions they want to wear their hair how they want to wear their hair so there's just usually this entire debate going on about whether or not women should care about what men are attracted to and men expressing you know how they feel and whether or not they should have a right to do that so I'm just going to be talking about a few reasons in this video why I think that happens. The number one reason that I think that happens <laughs> is because oftentimes men are not saying what they mean or they're not meaning what they're saying. Either either or. You will have men expressing that they are, of course, attracted to natural beauty, natural hair. They prefer, you know, less makeup and, you know, without the long lashes. And a lot of times what they actually mean is they don't like to see that when it's not done well or not applied well. So what I mean is without realizing it, there's quite a few times when men will see a woman wearing a wig or wearing a weave and they are attracted to it. They like it. They think, they think that it looks nice. And the reason is because it's applied well. The wig looks nice on her hair, her hairline, you know, it looks realistic. The baby hairs aren't overdone. The length is not exaggerated. There's usually some aspect of why her hair looks nice is because it's done well. And for the most part, I think that's exactly what men are talking about. It's usually when the hair looks, you know, it's not <laughs> when the textures are not matching or when the frontal comes up too far and there's, you know, no blending happening, the lace is showing, your baby hairs are too much. Those are usually when men will look at a woman's hair and say, oh, I don't like that very much. Uh, that that's, that's what you guys mean. You don't mean you don't like weaves or wigs or, or, you know, hair that's added. You don't like when it looks obvious. You don't like when it's not attractive, when it's not complimenting that particular woman's features. That's what you don't like. The same thing can be applied to makeup or lashes. Men will express they don't like the large, long lashes that a lot of women are wearing. I have to them. But they will express that they're not, they're not into that. And what they usually mean, once again, is they don't like when it looks exaggerated, when it looks overdone, just unflattering. I have seen some women with large lashes and they look beautiful. They compliment their eyes, they you know, compliment their cheekbones. They look well placed, well done. And that whenever they blink or move their head, it's very flirtatious and beautiful. And then I've seen some women with lashes where the lash band is very visible or they went to a a, a nail place who does lashes on the side and the, the 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 glue at the top is very thick and it's like caked on makeup from them washing their face. It just, it looks crazy. And the lashes themselves, instead of them being tapered and thin and flirty, they're like one thick continuous shape. <laughs> and it looks horrible. It does. It doesn't look, it doesn't look attractive. That's just the reality. No one is attracted to poorly done makeup. No one is attracted to uh, hair that, it looks a mess you know no one no one finds that attractive and i think that's what majority of men mean and i think men don't know enough to make that distinction the next reason i believe these conversations oftentimes veer off into the well i don't care what y'all have to say is because a lot of men are hypocritical right you'll have men saying that they don't like uh fake hair makeup lashes and fake bodies but then if you go on Instagram, you look at all of the Instagram models that have millions of followers and are literally paid to take pictures, most of their following is men. So if you don't like these things that you claim that you don't like, why are Instagram models so popular? Why are their followings so strong? Why are there so many thirsty comments on their pictures? It's not making sense. I just think that men say certain things to be controversial or, you know, to, I don't know, just start an argument with women. All I have to say is some, some of y'all lying. Some of y'all are not telling the truth. You really need to evaluate what it is that you say out of your mouth in comparison to your actions. Because again, uh, y'all being real hypocritical.
So the last thing that I wanted to cover is this whole idea of natural beauty. I am very much against this whole concept of natural beauty because it doesn't exist, frankly. Yes, there are some women that have certain, you know, features that may be favorable over others and that's how they naturally look but there's always some effort put into a woman's beauty into her body with every beautiful woman she's gonna have maintenance that goes into how she stays so beautiful how she stays so fit so whether that's her skincare her makeup uh, going to the gym the type of clothes that she wears her shapewear you know all of these things are involved when it comes to looking beautiful, the overall package. There's this meme that I've constantly come across where women show uh, four different representations of what men think makeup represents. And you know, there'll be the woman with her actual natural face, then there'll be the woman with a little bit of the no makeup makeup look, which is my favorite type of makeup look. Then there'll be full glam, like real full glam makeup, and then there'll be what men think a lot of makeup looks like. And it's very clear that y'all don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> A lot of men's idea of natural beauty is very, very um, misinformed. <laughs> and I just think it's because you guys don't understand the process that goes behind uh, the, you know, what it takes to look look put together. The fact that so many of you think that you know what natural beauty is, you don't. I'm sorry. But <laughs> one of the things that I constantly bring up in this discussion when I'm talking is you'll have men say that they like natural hair, right? And what they're actually describing or what they're picturing in their minds rather is natural hair that has been pressed out and curled with a hot tool. So you have like, 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 like this, like loose curl or something like that. And a man will call that naturally curly hair. Like this is really, <laughs> this is really the type of stuff that y'all do. And I think it's because like I said, you don't, you don't have the language. You don't understand what goes on. Uh, the things involved in looking beautiful. And so it's for those reasons that I think a lot of women are very dismissive when men are giving their preferences. It's not because we don't care really, you know, deep down. It's not because we don't, we think that what you guys feel or what you are attracted to is not important. It's just because we know and understand that generally you guys don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> At the end of the day, women want to express ourselves. We want to put on our clothes like we want to. We want to wear our hair in a way that we want to. But we also want to be attractive. But there is definitely uh, a balance that has to take place. So the main thing that I want you to take away from this video is, as a man, make sure that you understand what your preference actually is. Be open to the possibility that you may not really know what you're talking about. That <laughs> you may not really understand um, what your preference is and how she gets there. You may not really understand it. Be less critical of women and make sure that you're making the distinction in your head of it's not that I don't like wigs or I don't like fake hair or, or that I don't like makeup I just don't like when it's on a woman and it doesn't look nice on her it's not applied well it's not it's not being worn well make those distinctions because you'd be surprised how many times a woman is wearing fake hair lashes and makeup and you still find her beautiful and it's because she's well put together okay so those are my thoughts. If you are feeling what I'm saying, please comment below. If you're a woman and you feel like there's any points in this video that I missed, please comment below and help these guys out. Help them understand what I was talking about. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up before you go. And yeah, take care. Bye.